from today's how to of the day we are going to start a Holden Commodore six cylinder VZ it's no crank no start the key goes into ignition turn the ignition on when you go to turn the car on you can turn the key as many times as you want and nothing happens so let's go and start it right now what we're looking for is in the fuse box here in the engine bay um, we're looking for this relay here the, the very front one which is a starter relay now what's happening he's not getting a ground or an earth signal that's coming from uh, the ECU which is here engine control unit um, that is faulty and uh, I think the remedy is about two thousand dollars from Holden to fix this starting issue now what we're going to do is we're going to take this relay out we're going to open it and I'm going to show you how to jump it well there's a few different ways of doing this but if you're not very comfortable about um, wiring or playing with wiring this would be the safest way so re remove the relay then you need to pry it open each corner has like a little little tabs you need to insert something small and sharp all of them at the same time and um, take the cover off um, i'm going to do this off camera so seeing a bit okay now this is what the relay looks like with the cover off so what we've got to do is we're going to put him back without his little cover and that'll all become clear in a minute okay just sit it there gently and um, just with your thumb just gently ease it ease it in place that's all you got to do for now what we're going to do now is we're going to go inside the car turn the ignition on and come back here all right let's do that okay i'm going to turn the ignition on and go in the engine bay and um energize that relay that we pulled apart okay let's do it what you need to do is just here just touch like that just push it, see very simple just like that that's all you want to do now that the ignition is on all we got to do is just push here just like this That's what you got to do. That will be all for today's how to of the day. This is how I do it. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, but at least this way you won't short anything out. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again. Bye for now. Okay, the other way you can do this, if you can't pull the relay apart, would be, you need to get a piece of wire in that terminal and in that one. If you bridge them, that will start the car. So, I've uh, prepared one earlier, which is just a piece of wire with, with a spade bit on either side I'm going to put that there now I'm going to go turn on the ignition and then I'm going to touch it here to show you that it's going to do the exact same thing as what it did by just um, hot wiring the 
the relay or manually activating the relay. All right. Okay, now with the ignition on, all we do is just touch it. Do not plug it in there, just touch it. If you plug this in there, the car will keep on cranking. That's not what you want. Now you can remove that, put the relay back in, and drive it. Now, in some instances, the cars start a few times before you have to do this again. In this car's instance, you have to do this every time. Okay, that's it for now.